and welcome to the channel. Trixia is probably one of the most underrated character of the game. She starts out pretty weak and her mechanics are a bit clunky and hard to get used to. However, believe me when I say she gets stronger over time and with the right echoes and weapons, she can easily out damage Rover. In this video, I will share my Chixia build so you can use it as a reference to start getting Chixia ready for the main team loadout. First off, let's start with her echoes. For the 4 cost echoes, I decided to go with Inferno Rider with critical damage bonus stats. For the 3 cost echoes, I went with Violet Feather, Heron, and Havoc Dreadmane, both of which have fusion damage bonus. As for the 1 cost echoes, I have Fusion Dreadmain and Baby Virid Blaze Saurian. Both of them have attack bonus. All 5 Molten Rift element echoes combined gave me a Sonata effect of Fusion Damage plus 10% and another 30% Fusion Damage for 15 seconds after using the Resonance skill. For the next part, to maximize your Chixia damage, you will need to also upgrade her skill tree or forte in the game. Chixia is a gunner, so she needs Impure Plogiston as her upgrade material. You can buy these from the souvenir store in exchange for wooden shards. The wooden shards are collected by traveling the world, breaking wooden boxes, and as rewards for doing quests. You can also purchase the material from the weapon shop using shell credits. However, both of these shops have limited quantity, so after you clean them out, they will not be restocking them. At least at the time of this recording, the shops are still not replenished for me. A second way to get the upgrade material is to do the guidebook forgery challenge. For Chixia, it is the Marigold Woods. Each run will cost you 40 weight plates and the drop chance for a higher tier material will increase as you attempt it on a higher soul 3 level. However, you are almost guaranteed the lowest tier drops so you can use these lower tier ones at the synthesizer to make higher tier ones. The exchange rate is 3 lower for 1 higher tier. So an example, if you use 3 green, you will get 1 blue. As for the resonance chain, this is purely luck based from the gacha pool, so I won't discuss this too much. However, if you happen to get lucky, then your Chixia will get a large damage boost from them. Playing as Chixia will be challenging at first because most of her damage come from her counter move. To initiate a counter move, you must successfully dodge the enemy's attack first, then quickly follow up with a regular attack. Chixia does a crazy amount of damage if you spam this counter move. Her regular attacks are pretty strong if you finish the 3 hit combo, however her Daka Daka skill is also insanely useful for clearing out multiple enemies. Just make sure you follow up with a regular attack after expending all of the Daka Daka bullets to deal major damage with that final shot. As for her ultimate or resonance liberation, it's definitely powerful and is best used when there are multiple enemies. Its area of effect is large, so this is definitely a good crowd control skill. For weapons, I am using the gold weapon Static Mist upgraded to level 70. It is still currently on tier 1. And there you have it. Chixia is probably one of the best DD character in the game if you put in the effort to learn her mechanics. In addition, the new updates Dolls of Eon seems to be encouraging gunner usage with the Bell's collection mechanic. So having Chixia in the team definitely make things easier. And that's it for now. Please let me know if you liked the video with a thumbs up or leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.